Hello guys, I welcome you to this tutorial. Hello friends. How you doing? In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create this Telegram bot and learn how to deploy it for free. You can check out this bot right now. I will give bot link on the description. Go and check out right now. Now let's create this. First of all we will need two things. Telegram token and weather API key. For Telegram token, you can go to your Telegram, I am using Web Telegram but you can use mobile app too and search Botfather. After clicking on the Botfather, start the channel and type slash newbot. After newbot, you will have to name the bot, you can use any name but I am using weather. After naming it, you will have to give the unique username that ends with bot. The username should be unique. As you can see the username is already taken, so try different usernames. This username is already taken too. So try different one. Remember the username should end with bot. Finally finally, it wasn't taken. Now the work is done for token. We have our bot token. Now, for the weather API part. If you don't know what API is, then just follow my steps. Just search open weather on the search bar and press enter. Click on the first website and then you will have to create an account. It's for free. Just use Google and create an account. I already have an account, so I am just gonna log in. After you log in, you will see API key. Just copy it. Remember it may take some time to activate this API key, the key will not work right away. Now let's start some coding. Go to your code editor and on terminal type npm in it. Remember you have to have nodages installed. After npm in it, create a file and call it index.js. Now there is a nodages library to help creating telegram bot easily. Go to the browser and type nodages telegram bot npm. You will see the npm package called node telegram bot api. It helps us to create Node.js bot easily. You can see the documentation on how to use it and all that but for now, let's just copy the npm install command. As you can see, it has TypeScript support too, but for now we are not going to use TypeScript, so just copy the installation command. Just copy the installation command and paste it on the terminal and also we are going to use Axios for API fetching so just add Axios at the end of the installation command. And install it. Now let's import Telegram Beauty and Axios from the libraries we just installed. After importing, we have to give the token, so just copy the token we got from the Botfather account on Telegram. Copy the whole token and paste it. Don't worry I have given the full code on the description. So just learn for now. Now let's create a new instance of the Telegram bot class and sets it up to use the token and the polling method to receive updates from Telegram. You don't have to know much about it. Just write this. Now to send and receive message, just write this. Check the Notages Telegram bot API documentation. You can see everything there. Now let's see what we get when someone message on this bot remember you have to start the server. So just write node index.js on the terminal for now. Now go the bot channel and write some messages. You can find the channel link on the token message. Start the channel and write some messages. See, we got can object with a lot of information like message text, chat ID, which we will use later. Now we are gonna extract the chat ID and input text and send hello message to the user. You can use bot send message to send the message to the user whenever they message us. You just have to pass the chat ID and message to send. I am just writing hello sir to whenever someone messages us anything. Remember you have to keep your server live. Now let's write message and see if we get any response. We are not getting any response. Let's see what is wrong with the code. Well the code looks perfect to me. Let's make some changes to see if it works or not.
Well, it is not working. Oops. Sorry. I remember now. You can just stop the server and start it with nodeindex.js, it will work. But we you can just use nodemon to save all the hassle. Just do what I do. Just go to package.json and go to scripts and change the following. And we are using nodemon so let's install it by typing npm install nodemon on the command line. After installing, just start the server with npm start and check if it will work or not. I am sure it will work. See it is working. And if you don't want to use nodemon, you can just do node index.js and I am sure it would work too. Now it's time for the main event. Instead of hello, we are gonna send the weather report of the city the user types in. We are gonna use the API key we got at the beginning from open weather and get the weather report. Now this part of the code makes an API call to the Open Weather Map API to retrieve weather information for a specific city. The city name is specified by the user and passed in as the user input variable. Just copy the API key and paste instead of mine. Now the API call is made using the axios.get method and is awaited using the await keyword. If the API call is successful, it returns the weather information in a JSON format, which is stored in the response variable. The data is then extracted from the JSON response and stored in several variables, such as weather, temperature, and city. Let's see what we get when we call that URL. See, we got a bunch of data like temperature, pressure, and all that. We just extract the data we need from this JSON response and send it to the user. It gives the temperature in Fahrenheit, so we are just converting that to the Celsius and writing our message with giving details like humidity, pressure, temperature and all that. Now let's check if it works or not. Remember your server has to be live. Now let's check. Write any city name you know. See, it is working perfectly. We are getting all the details. And if the city doesn't exist, it will just send city doesn't exist. Now it's time for the second main event. First of all close all the tabs. You know the feeling when you just close all the tabs. It's just perfect. Search Replit on the search bar and click the first website. As you can see I am already logged in but you can just create an account for free using Google, GitHub. After creating the account, just do what I do. Just create a new repel and select Node.js template. Select the one I am selecting. Give it a name and create a repel. After you create a repel, it will open the code editor on reply, you can just have write the whole code here. Now copy the whole code you wrote and paste it here. And just click on run and give it some time to install dependencies and your code will work just the way it was working before. After it finishes installing the dependencies, you will see the screen like this. Now check if your bot works or not. I am sure it would work. See it is working just the way it was working before. Now it's the time for hosting. You have to create a Node.js server for that. If you don't know what server is, then just paste this 5 lines of code. And if you know what server is then I am just creating an express server which will send hello world message on the port 3000. Now stop the server and restart it to install express. While it's installing express, open a new tab and search up to Maribot. Search Uptime Robot and click on the first link you see. I will give the link on the description too. You can just create an account for free using Google, but I already have an account, so I am just gonna log in. 
After you log in, you will see this dashboard. Now copy the URL we get in Replit of the server. Just copy that URL. And now go to the Uptime Robot dashboard and click on Add New Monitor button and do what I am doing. Just fill in the form by giving the name you want and pasting the URL. After you fill the form, just click Create Monitor. And done that's it. Your work is done and your bot is live. And now you can just go and check out if it works or not. And if you want to know what I did. I just created a Node.js server on Replit and deploy it. Once deployed, the server will continue to run in the background, even after you close the browser tab. The server will stay awake and active until an hour after its last request, after which it will enter a sleeping stage. It means it will work even if you don't use Uptime Robot but till one hour but after one hour after its last request, it will go to the sleeping stage and it won't work again. What Uptime Robot does is that it will send the request to the server every five minutes. So it will never sleep and will work perfectly till eternity or till uptime robot or replit lasts. And hey friends, thank you very 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 much for watching and please 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 subscribe and if you have any questions, please don't be afraid to ask in the comments or message me on Instagram. Again thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video.